Oh, look! Look! The Kleinigs have bought a car! You bought a car, Olga? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mommy, it looks wonderful! You got it! Naturally! Dad promised! You got it for the wedding! Yeah, we got it! Isn't that beautiful, Mom? Oh, yeah, yeah, she's very nice. Magda will drive in it to the church on her wedding day. Lottie will be bridesmaid. I already heard it 20 times. I suppose the bridesmaid must have her own car, too. Why not? Bruno. Don't forget to start the milking early. Aren't you coming to the picnic? What do you think? What do you think, Marcus? Perhaps by the time Lottie is getting married, you will have your own car. Come on, my dear. We can talk in a train. It's time to buy a car, I buy a car. It's me deciding, Anna, not the yeah, neighbors. Yeah, yeah, naturally. You are the one to decide. Hey, Bruno, coming to the picnic, mate? Should be a warm day. Oh, this is my nephew's friend, Bruno. <laughs> Have you met the... Well, the change is mine. I don't even want to go anywhere. Look, what is it? Got a bigger base, which means... Ryan's new harvester. Uh, Beautiful. Herman Hines won't think so. Trouble it won't bring. You don't have to do a thing. Harvester does it. Have you seen Jack's new harvester? Beauty, isn't it? Monster. Come on, let's have a look. She cuts, she winnows, she sorts the chaff, and she'll put eight bags in the bin at the same time, which means. Has Hines he seen it yet? No, he never comes to the picnic. Beauty of this garden is she'll do. He'd probably put a bomb under it. Gosh, look at Isabella. Get a seat in here. Dad's harvest. First part of the history. Great, isn't it? I love it. could have had one in green, but I don't like green. Mr. Mime sort of one, but it hasn't come yet. Hello, Happy. You got a smile for me. That's better. I like to see you smile, Happy. Here! Didn't I tell you to keep away from my daughter? Dad? I don't want to see you anywhere near on the picnic today. You understand? I've told you before, she's not for the likes of you. Now go on, get! All right, we stay together. Come on, now. Thanks, Bruno! I'm here, Mum. Oh. Remember, you have to pick us up at 8 o'clock. Don't forget it. Next year, you come with us. Oh, Mum. Um, yeah, yeah. Don't be late. I'll leave an hour early. All right? Go to the picnic. On the left time.
was he? Where's Lottie? Um, she'll be here in a minute, Dad. She's with Magda. All day long you're telling me she's with Magda. I find her myself. If you don't mind, Emma. I better go. Oh, do you have to go now? Yeah, I do. Places was that? Nothing. Go back to sleep, Dad. Uh. What's going on? What's this wagon doing here? Oh, I don't know. I spotted it just before dark. Well, how the hell did it get here? Someone was pushing it. Eh? Who? I didn't see. It was too dark. What happened? Stay on the train, please. What's going on? You could have been killed. That was quite a job. What happened? Huh? Oh, you're on your way to London, you reckon you saw someone pushing that way. Boy. Hey, you all right, wee laddie? Hey, look, you better come along with us. My family's on the train. Is it all right if I go and look for them? All right, well, you hop along then, and we'll see you at the station. Everyone back on board, please. Back on board. Couple it up, man! <laughs>
Mr. Hines? Happy? It was you? No. N no, Bruno, no, no, I didn't. I didn't. It wasn't me, Bruno. Why didn't you tell anyone? I don't know. Is that because you suspected Oswald Geister? Who? Everybody call him Happy. Happy? A nickname it is. Why? Because he never smiles? No, because he used to smile all the time. You never saw old Hap without a grin on his face until j Until what? Nothing. Mr. Ryan had to warn him away from his daughter, didn't he? Is that what made him stop smiling? Some people say he's not as dumb as he seems. How do you think the truck got on the line, Bruno? I don't know. You don't know? You have no idea who did it? I just don't know. I don't understand why the boy won't just say what he knows. He'd be helping everybody. We're going to charge Oswald Leicester anyway. But it'd help if for someone to cooperate. I tell you one thing, we're going to be asking a lot of questions of people in the district, and if we find out that boy has been lying to us, we'll charge him too. Yeah, yeah. Maybe he doesn't realise how serious this is. If the train had hit the wagon any harder, it could have been derailed and gone over the embankment. A lot of lives could have been lost, not to mention railway damage. I still think he's concealing something. All right, we'll see you around. Yeah, see you around. How many times have I told you you must always tell the truth, Bruno? I did, Dad. I haven't told any lies. Honest. I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Why for you do not know? I know you're trying to help Happy. And this is auch gut so. We are all God's creatures. But everyone knows that he's not right up here. No one is going to put him in jail. But I'm not sure he did do it, Dad. Of course he did. Who else? Do you think it was someone else? I don't know. Who else would want to do a thing like this to Jack? Hermann Heinz. Do you think it was Hermann Heinz? He hates Jack Ryan. He'd do anything to stop him being first with the harvester. No, no. Remember what he did to Jack's wagon, Dad? This is nothing. They're like little boys, but they're stupid fighting. Hammond wouldn't do a thing like this. It was Happy Geister. Yes, Dad. Hammond is a fool. The Bruno is wrong when he thinks that Hermann has something to do with it. Wrong? A big accident that could have happened. Yeah, and it was Bruno who stopped it. You remember this? Yeah, yeah. And you tell Bruno this? You praise him? Yeah, he did well. But he still has a lot to learn. Mr. Mibus, uh, my harvester. Yeah, I know. Uh, next week it is coming? Hmm? You are promising this, hmm? Oh, hello, Jack. Terrible news about your harvester. Terrible. I know. Thanks, Herman. Mm, well, what are you thinking of this, Bruno? Hmm? Insufficient evidence. Hmm, you're doing this, is. Well, they shouldn't have charged him in the first place, should they, Mrs. Marbus? He's not remembering anything about the accident. His mother tells me this morning. Not one thing, even. Oh, yeah? Well, just tell her to keep him well away from me in future. That's all. Don't worry, Jack. I will soon be getting a new harvester myself. You may borrow mine. Taking its time, isn't it, Herman? I'll have a new one before yours even arrives. Nein, twelve months you will be waiting. No, I lend you mine. <laughs> this is my bloody fit. Is 
to it is on. Look. So? I'd just like to know how, that's all. Do you want any help, Mr. Hines? Oh, well, thank you, Bruno. What did you do to your arm? Did you hurt it? Why you say I hurt myself, huh? Huh? Yeah, I do nothing to my arm. See, nothing. Everything is all right. Nothing, nothing, nothing. It is all right. Clean away with it. Never know for sure, will we? Nope. 